welcome to Elite Personal Fit. Today we have a body shaping class for you, and it's a body split. Uh, we're gonna focus on legs, so big part of the body. Uh, legs, we're gonna do some shoulders. Uh, they go really nice together with a lot of different exercises, and some biceps. So a lot of lower body, mix in with a little upper body. Uh, it will complement the body shaping unit that goes out in the same week. So you, know, you can bind those and get your whole body in two workouts, whether that's two days in a row, or maybe it's, you know, you have a day break in between, however you want to do that. But this is a great little workout that really, if you don't have any fitness equipment, if you've got it, go ahead and use your fitness equipment. You'll know where to put it with dumbbells and kettlebells, things of that nature. But if you don't have any equipment, this is just a nice workout that you can do with just a couple household items. Uh, let me run through just kind of a small list today. Um, if you don't have dumbbells or kettlebells or barbells, you could use gallon jugs, okay? So um, you may want two to four. I'm actually probably gonna use maybe like, like five or six, but two to four will get you through this routine. Um, we do have a leaning lab race today too, so you may want a can good also. Uh, you would just need one, I think. I think gallon jugs work for everything else. Um, you'll want a chair. We've got a seated uh, Arnold press, like a, a version of an overhead press. And we also have a uh, lying leg curl. Really like those for hamstrings. It's a great exercise. Um, optional item. So there's only really, really two items. Your gallon jugs and a chair. Optional would be a, a broomstick today. All right. So if you've got a mop or a broom, um, you can use uh, the handle of that, and you can use that similar to a barbell. I mean, if you can see off to the side, I've got four gallon jugs strung on there uh, that that we can use. And again, it's just optional. You don't have to do that. Uh, but if you've got one of those, it just kind of adds some variety to your routine. If you have weights, it's a great way to kind of get a little barbell. All right. Um, we're going to go through two rounds of this circuit, guys. Um, pretty good little circuit to really, really hit some different angles, especially with the legs. Uh, and, and, and really shoulders and biceps, too. Um, but um, I'll put that in the screen for you. We're going to start with a 45 and curtsy lunge. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this with you in, in real time. So if you haven't seen these videos before, man, man, welcome. Hopefully you enjoy these. Uh, I'm going to do these exercises so it'll be very easy for you to just kind of follow along, all right? So circuits up there on the screen, you can see that. Let, let's run through this and I'll do it with you. We're going to start off with a 45 and curtsy lunge. If you're not familiar with that, we're going to stride out. We're going to both go backwards. We're going to stride out a 45 degree angle, all right? So instead of going straight back, angle back at a 45, and then you're going to do a curtsy on your second movement. So it's a, it's a two-phase movement. Um, make sure when you do the curtsy. So you're going to stride out at a 45, boom, come in. When you do your curtsy, a lot of people, I mean, I'll give a little profile, tend to get kind of tight in this and they get kind of, you, you kind of lose your balance and, and you cross over too far. It feels hard in your hip and your knee because there's no need to do that. So when you do this curtsy, just step out and make sure you get stride. Okay, so don't short step it where balance is an issue. Also, if you want to use a wall or chair, guys, you could do that. Um, to help with balance it if you need to, okay? And the leg that's moving, I would go opposite of that. Curtsy doesn't go too far, but the 45 would get you a little close to the wall with your foot if you're on that side. Here we go, so we got eight each way. I'll do them with you. Here we go, let's get started, all right? Um, make sure you have plenty of room here too, guys, all right? So we're out at a 45, and then I'm gonna do a little curtsy, arm swing. As that leg goes back, the arm comes forward to Eight, so a total of 16. Shake mine, you can really feel that. Make sure and focus on that front leg, try not to push off the back. Right. Now let's match reps on the other side here. So I'm gonna go out up to 45. Touch, curtsy.
legs are starting to burn a little bit. Just the body weight, it's a great one to start with because really you don't need a lot of extra weight. Body weight will usually work and really heats them up. All right. Next exercise, squat, pull. You're gonna hold, maybe it's a gallon juggling champ. Okay, you're gonna squat down, you're gonna pull up, kind of in front of the chin. Okay, so around 15 of these, I'm gonna use, remember, optional broomstick, you don't have to use that. It might be a gallon jugging chant or dumbbells, barbell. Before I start, make sure I try not to lean forward in this. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna grab this. We'll see, here we have 15 of these. Try not to hinge too far forward, as I mentioned a second ago. So I'm gonna try to keep it up a little bit. One, two, four, That was 15. Pretty good at getting the heart going a little bit, working lower and upper body kind of together. All right. Next one, bicep curls. And we'll try to keep rest to sort of a minimum here. So don't want real long breaks between here. Again, I've got a broomstick. Guys, you could just be holding gallon jugs in each hand. Okay? So Straight up, if you're holding gallon jugs, it might even be more of a hammer, which is totally fine, okay? So about 15 curls. Here we go. I'll grab this. And one. those biceps. All right, we'll set this down. Next one is a stationary lunge press. Okay, so remember we started, we kind of went on a 45, that hits a lot of inner, inner medial portion of the thigh. Then we crossed over and it hits a little more lateral on the outside. Now we're gonna hold this lunge and we're gonna buy a press with this, okay? So lunge press again, if you need a wall or chair for balance, it's not a problem. Focus on the front leg, okay? The back leg is really just kind of for balance, so drive that front leg. Um, I'll grab a couple gallon jugs and I've got a couple sitting here. You know, you could get by with just one or two, by the way. Just take them off, even if you use the broom, so you can slide them off. It's quick and easy. I'll grab this. And about 15 of these, all right, so I'm gonna get in a lunge position here. We'll bring this like so. We're gonna lunge down. One, two, three. So I'm working that left leg. Four on the shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 15, okay, and I definitely feel that front leg. Wow, wow. All right, let's switch sides here.
it was 15. The legs are getting tired. A lot of leg work there in the beginning here. The next exercise is where it's a leaning ladder raise. I didn't mention intro, but you want a doorway for this or a post. We're just going to lean over and get our ladder raise in. I mean, when it can, good. If a gallon jug's too heavy. You could also have a gallon jug off the side that maybe is half full um, if you need a little wider option. So, okay. Then we'll lean over, guys. 10 to 15 of these. Okay, and just be trying to have good form here. I'm just going to lean over. I raise about parallel floor. One, two, I'll set this down for just a second. Okay, I'm gonna angle off this way now. Here we go. Boy, that'll get the shoulders a little fatigued. We'll set this down. Okay, next exercise. Um, back to biceps, okay? And now um, you'd want dumbbells or, or gallon jugs. And we're gonna vary just a little bit here. So we're, we're gonna curl up and then kind of from the outside in. Okay, so I call them in-out curls. All right. And let me just, Show you how quick and easy it is to take these off. So um, I think I'll use two in each hand. Obviously, you know, one is fine as well. So we're here, guys, we're going to go in and out about 10 each way. And again, when you're holding these gallon jugs, it, it's hard to supinate sometimes with these. So if it's more of a hammer style where the thumb is up, that's, that's fine. Here we go. So I'm going to come up. One. Two, up, three, four. Elbows are kind of into the side here. Challenging, feel the biceps working. Good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna need these again, I think. All right, next exercise, we get to sit down for a second, which may feel good. And we're gonna do, I like these Arnold presses. We're gonna start with elbows in, okay? Palms stays behind you as you come up. We're just gonna rotate, so you kinda get this rotation of the shoulder going, okay, this motion. So as you come up, the elbows go out and in. So you have this motion along with this pressing motion, all right? So we're gonna kind of combine those. Feels good in the shoulders. Um, these gallon jokes, and guys, around 10 to 15 of these, okay? Depending on how the weight feels, okay? Um, if you don't have a lot of resistance, you can up those reps a little bit. Couple of these jugs, I'm gonna start in. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, they're tired. 
15. Ah, 15. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna anchor your chair against the wall, okay? So we've got to get this body bag, and we're gonna do a chair leg curl. These work great, really will challenge those hamstrings. Somewhere around 10 to 15, um, you know, take breaks when you need to. Uh, if you're not used to this, you'll really feel that, so <laughs> don't wanna cramp on those. You may feel some serious tightness, so Take a breather and try to get in that 10 to 15 range. Okay. So I'll come down on the floor and you can use a towel too or a, or a mat if you wanted to when you lay down. So I'm here, hands out. And now I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. Instead of pushing with my feet like you would with the bridge, I'm gonna put my heels down. I'm gonna press my heels down and drive up, just engaging those hamstrings. Notice how I'm trying to get up high on here, so I'm not stopping here. Drive up almost like a two count. There's three, up, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should be feeling those? I know I am. So good for those hamstrings, and you get a little lower back too. But the hamstrings really are highly isolated with that movement. Um, gosh, I mean, that's as good as any leg crew you can do at a gym, they're fantastic. I'm um, gonna come down, guys. If you want a sip of water, real quick, grab a quick sip. That is one round, okay? So we're gonna go back to the top and let's just gut out one more round of this. We'll start back with that 45 and curtsy. We're going eight each way. All right. All right. Here we go. 45, drive the front leg, curtsy, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Feeling that leg big time. Okay, that was eight in there. That left leg is tired. Let's switch them up. And here we go. 45. And then a slight crossover. One. Two. Shake them out for a second. <laughs> Squat pulls are next. All right, so we've got 15 of these.
Nice work. Curls are next. Even with not real heavy weight, those are a little tiring. All right. Remember, this might just be gallon jugs each hand. It's no big deal. Straight up. Keep those elbows at your side. Don't let them move around. Set these over here, get them out of the way. I think we're done with this, so we'll get that off there. Okay, next one lunge press. Okay, grab your resistance. Here we go 15 each side. Remember to focus on that front leg. Take them out for a second. <clears throat> we'll switch sides here. Good stuff. Tiring, but good. Leaning lateral raise. Hoo-wee. Okay, let's make our way to a doorway or post. 10 to 15 of these. Maintain good form. Even though you may be getting more fatigued here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Other way.
right, I'll set this down. Okay, we're doing great. We're plugging away at this. We have in, out curls next. I know the shoulder's probably feeling a little tired now. We did that lunge press, and now the ladder raises. I know mine are a little fatigued here. elbows at your side. Here we go. One. set these here those are tough in and out curls man oh man all right so now we got Arnold press shoulders are tired oh Here we go. Good. That was in. Can we twist it out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Set these off to the side. We have got through this. We have one more exercise. So we're going to get after these leg curls with the chair. hamstrings here. Think heels coming down like you're trying to squeeze your heels into your leg, like you're doing a leg curl. Okay, here we go. Driving the heels down. Up, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Start to really feel them. 13, 14, oh, there's 15. Boy, once you get your 10 to 15 on that second round, man, that is the end of the circuit. Whew, shake those legs out a little bit. All right. Hey, that was, you know what, I'm not sure, 25, 30 minutes maybe. Great use of your time. Really good workout, hitting this body, really like a, almost like a total body. You're incorporating a lot of things with lunges, with squats, um, some body weight stuff like the leg curls that's gonna incorporate the core. So I hope you enjoyed that, and really thanks for watching. Uh, keep tuning in, we'll keep on bringing different workouts and ideas to you. This is Elite Fitness, and we're bringing wellness 